In the previous lesson we have recorded, imported audio and done some basic edits. In this lesson we will tidy up the narration, make it sound a little better and then export it to a single track. Let's have a listen to the audio. Teddy Sadaka has been in the clothing business since he was a teenager in the 1970s, back when his parents started Apparel Production Incorporated. I have already done some tidying up with trim and split, and but there is still some work left to do. Literally, he Here there is a repetition a in the narration, right hand. and we need to remove that mistake before we continue. Try to have a listen. When he was 15, Sadaka was sewing a button on some fabric, and he stuck his finger with a long needle. When he was 15, Sadaka was sewing a button on... When he was 15, Sadaka was sewing a button on some fabric, and he stuck his finger with a long needle. The third take is the one we need. There are many ways that we could correct this mistake, but this time around we will use trim. Let's first highlight the region. We can now trim it. Drag the trim handles until we get to the beginning of the correct take. Last thing to do is to drag the region into place. The region will snap to the previous region, making it easier for you to place the region correctly. Earlier we added music to the clipboard. Now we can add it to a new track. Let's have a listen. Teddy Sadaka has been in the clothing business since he was a teenager in the 1970s. But the music is way too loud, so let's try to drag the gain line down so it blends better with the narration. And Sadaka says blood, sweat and tears have gone into it. And how loud should the music be, you might ask? Well, there are no rules. If it sounds good, then it sounds good. The most important thing is that focus is not taken away from the narration. It is, after all, the narration that is the most important thing. And speaking of the narration, we always should do our best to make it sound clear, as clear as possible. Traditionally, you would use equalizers, compressors, limiters, and a palette of other things lying around in an audio engineer's shed. And you can do all that in Hindenburg as well. But... In the spirit of the friendly in-house sound engineer, we have provided you with the voice profiler. And you find it right here. And all you need to do is apply it. The profile has now been added to track one, the track with the narration on it. What the voice profile does is to make the narrative a little more clear and nice for your listeners to listen to. When he was 15, Sadaka was sewing a button on some fabric, and he stuck his finger with a long needle. So now we have two tracks with some narrative and some music, but we can't play it outside Hindenburg at the moment. For that to happen, we need to convert this into an audio file that can be played elsewhere. To export a file, choose the Export button. Let's try to make it into an mp3 file. mp3 is probably the most common audio file format, but it is in no way the only audio format out there. If we have a quick look here in the formats, then we can see that there are lots. We will not get into them in this lesson, so let's quickly close the menu again. We have chosen the mp3 format. But we can also choose the quality of the file. Keep in mind that the better the quality is, the larger the audio file will become. It's a compromise. If you do not have any problems creating larger files, then by all means use the best possible quality. Let's not forget to give the exported file a name. The last thing that we need to do is make sure that it is in the right destination on our computer hard drive. That done, we can press save. A few seconds later, the file is exported. By pressing the link, we can open the file manager. 
our exported audio file could now be played anywhere on your computer or anyone else's. Let's play our exported file. Teddy Sadaka has been in the clothing business since he was a teenager in the 1970s. In this lesson, we have covered a few new things. Adding a voice profile and exporting as MP3. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.